Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another Fortnite video. And in this one, we're going to be going over one of the brand new Winterfest challenges which has been released. So these are coming out every single day, and today's challenge has us dancing at different holiday trees. So there's five locations in order to do this. Now before we get into the video, guys, if you could help me out and just use my creator code in the item shop, just go over here and click in Guiding Light in the item shop. That's all I ask in order to make these videos really short and easy. So if you could do that, it really helped me out. Now, in order to get started, guys, we're going to go to all five of these locations. Keep in mind, you can do this in Team Rumble, so you should probably just do it in there and get it done on your first match. You could also try grabbing one of the brand new planes as well. If you see one, that's going to be a really easy way to get from all of these locations. But either way, guys, let's jump into the very first holiday tree. We're going to start with probably the hardest one. It's actually at Salty Towers. Now, this is a super easy challenge, and all you have to do is just use any emo in front of the tree. So we're going to fly into the very first location here. This one's at Salty Towers. So if you've seen these trees around, this is the holiday trees you guys want to dance at. You're going to see a bunch of presents underneath them. There should be like a little star llama on top and a bunch of gifts around it. So this is the tree you want to dance at and you can use any emo and it will count. Now one thing to keep in mind about this guys is that when you get to this location, the tree might be destroyed. I saw it in yesterday's video with the Snowmando Outpost. Some people were saying uh, the outposts weren't there. The thing is, is that you can actually destroy these. So just like the outpost, you can destroy the trees. But if you use the emote, even when the tree isn't there, the challenge should still count. So if you come to this location and someone has blown up the tree or destroyed it, just use any emote and it should still count. Now, either grab a car or just wait until your next match. Or if you're in Team Rumble, you should be able to just build up and use your glider. But the very next location we're going to be going to is over here at Holly Hedges. So you can easily get the Holly Hedges from Salty Towers. All you really need to do is just fly into the very middle of the map and in the park here, you're going to see another holiday tree. So that should be two out of the way now. So we're going to fly directly into this location. Here's just a quick look at where you can find it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So it's a pretty simple challenge and here's location number two. Now in the next couple of days, there's going to be a challenge that has you playing with friends and winning squad matches. So if a lot of your friends haven't been active lately, you might want to leave your epic name down in the comments so that people can add you and you guys can grind out some of these challenges together because there are going to be some challenges that require multiple people here in the next couple days. So there's location number two out of the way. We're going to head into location number three now. So this one's actually located over in Pleasant Park. I'll show you guys the exact location and where you can find the tree. But this is a very busy location, and you have to keep in mind that a lot of people are going to be trying to be doing this challenge when it first comes out, which is why I suggest you go into Team Rumble. And also remember that the trees most likely will be destroyed. There's going to be so many people trying to get this done that the tree most likely won't be there, but you can still use the emote wherever it spawns, and it should count for the challenge. If it doesn't count, unfortunately you will have to come back in a different match and hope that no one else has destroyed it, but it should work. So here we are at Pleasant Park, you can see in the dead center there's actually another holiday tree, so this is the one you want to dance at, and we should have about 3 out of 5 now. The last two are pretty close to each other, so you should be able to get them done in the same game. So we're going to head on over to the Orchard next, if you guys know where that is, I'll take you there, it's actually not a named location. So right here next to Steamy Stacks, and sort of by the Coliseum, you're going to see this little area here that has a bunch of trees at it, it's next to Pizza Pit you guys have been playing for a while you should know where that's at all you have to do is fly into this location next to the pizza place there's going to be a little barn and in between that you're going to see the christmas tree so i'll take you guys directly to it now if this video is helping you out we only have one more tree remaining so be sure to drop a like down below if this has been a nice simple guide in order to get this done very quickly and the very last location if you want to you can hop inside of a car and we're going to be heading over to the location just around the corner So our very last tree is located here at Craggy Cliffs. If you guys don't know where that is, it's actually the little town back here behind where we just were. So we're going to fly in there now and I'll show you exactly where the Christmas tree spawns. Hope this video helped you guys out. I'll be making guides for every single one of the Winterfest challenges as they're released. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss them. Have a great time grinding out your XP. Hopefully this does help you to level up and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.